guys this is Eric from TechShare. Today I'm going to show you um, how can we integrate Order Cloud with your next JS application. At the same time I'm gonna show you something like um, uh, so we are going to connect to Order Cloud number one and number two would be to connect to um, Content Hub to get some some data and integrate all these two platforms together so the idea is um, from the order cloud we are going to get all the order um, sorry all the product related data then we are going to display that product and the image and asset everything we are going to pull from the content hub and then we're going to display together so if I want to show you guys the product the in product in result you can say so this is something like this so you can hear so this is basically a sort of a skeleton of my project. So I'm expecting some header will come here, some navigation component will be coming here. <clears throat> and this middle part where I have now shown all the different products. So you can see here all this products. The product data, I'm gonna show you all the details. How can you configure your products and everything in the order cloud platform. And then once I get the data and then the image and everything is coming from other platform, which is content hub. So these are basically the, the future of Sitecore. I'll create another video where I'm gonna show you guys how can we, um, uh, sorry, I mean, uh, discuss about the future of Sitecore and what would be the best approach uh, as a developer to focus um, in terms of uh, the, the recent uh, acquire and releases by Sitecore in different uh, SaaS platform. So SaaS application basically. So I'm gonna, uh, have a discussion about that one, but um, let me let me show you the the application that I am working right now. Basically, a tutorial for you guys. So this is my application. You can see here nothing is here. This home page is header navigation footer. There would be some content in middle of this one, but uh, if you visit the product space where you will get some data. Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. So before that, we need to. Uh, jump into the water cloud so if you visit this portal or order cloud .io, let me go here uh, then uh, basically you can register yourself so if you go to portal then um, you need to log in so this is free you don't need to be worry about this thing so I have basically um, so what would be the thing that we need to know if you want to deep dive into the order cloud basically you need to create your account first of all here and then um, you can see here this, this i'm gonna put all the description all these details in the description but if you follow this uh, getting started guideline here then you will be able to create your first application okay and then i'm also going to show you guys something here in the postman then you will understand so right now you can also download the order cloud exercise which is basically postman collection through that you will be able to get all the details so from the getting started from this getting started is empty but you can see here the authentication then basically you can configure a lot of different things through the postman okay so before jumping into here we need to understand the basic flow flow of um, of order cloud so in order to be able to create uh, your API in the order cloud, what you need to do is you need to create your organization first. So you can see here creating your organization. If you go here, then you can actually, um, you can see here, how can we create the first organization? Basically very simple. Once you have the organization, then what you need to do is you need to uh, create your API, uh, accessing your API console and create different APIs okay and then uh, let me show you now here what I have done so far so if you if I go API console then I have created a, a you know um, sort of two different client here so number one is buyer app and then this is client seller app so this buyer and seller there are two concept we need to I, I think I need to you know describe a bit so for seller perspective so those who are so if you want to uh, run your business in the online platform then you are basically the seller okay and then all the application 
uh, client, I mean, all, all the user who are uh, using their your storefront through your web web client, whatever, they will be your buyer. So in terms of buyer and seller, seller basically a sort of admin uh, application through that seller will be able to do a lot of different configuration like upload your products do different order related configuration and everything and the buyer are basically the simple store front where user will be able to browse different products and check out basically the products okay and then here from this uh, portal basically what you need to do you need to create your different application you need to provide different uh, rights and role and everything you need to provide and once you do that then you will be able to basically um, expose your different apis you will be able to use those different api clients in your different application so order cloud basically will not give you anything it's just simply um, give you this sort of uh, collection so now it is your responsibility to to create different apps you can create your backend app you can create your storefront whatever you need to create you can follow basically this um, exercise of of um, postman collection and you will be able to do everything for you so now uh, you can see here i have created different products and everything so once you have create your um, so it's just I would, I would request you i'm not gonna give you the whole details about that but let me expand on of this app and then you will be able to see so the client id and then you need to if you need to you can generate the client secret then uh, basically you can define the access configuration and all the and also you can create different user context so what i will suggest you guys to follow this so i'm gonna put this in the description you just open this and follow this thing this, that's not going to be very very tough that's not going to be at all so this is very easy and this standard document and just some basic steps okay once you have configured that then the next thing is to you know to create different products so if you see here this collection so collection you can be able to you'll be able to download this collection as well from auto cloud and basically you can create your different different products here and basically those are all different in points and in the authorization you see here i have an admin token so you can actually create your different user create your you just need to put the username password client id and then you just need to send and then that will give you some some token and then i have actually you know stored that token here in my environment and i am going to use that token in all the other different in points that i am using so i have created different different products you can see here i have created basically 10 or 12 different products so if you see get list of products if i wanna um, if i wanna execute this one then you'll you'll see what is happening here so authorization invalid token so let me let me grab the token first so if i execute this one now then the access token is generated and then now if i am uh trying to if i try now then you'll see here i have basically uh products list here so once you have this list basically it's very easy for you guys to pull that information in your application and use this as necessary that what i basically did and if you go through all these detailed collections here and then if you go through the documents then i'm pretty sure that if you want to cover the intuit scenario that's not gonna take a lot of time and also sidecore provides out of the box some starter kit so you can extend the starter kit you can get the um, different uh, sort of uh, data uh, you can so sidecore will provide you some skeleton kind of project so you can you can be uh, you can use that on so I have also used it here although this component is a bit old for me but let me explore the code now so in the coding side so in the application side i have this application i already showed you so you can see here all these products basically it's nothing but this list of products that currently you can see here in the postman collection so i have pulled those information here and i just simply displayed in a react component and once you click that 
then you can see here the route it is going to that particular product and see here interestingly we will be able to see some data json data basically this part i have got from sitecore starter kit so now it's your responsibility to design it correctly and use it so if i say add to cart <clears throat> then basically you can see here uh, there is another component cart component i haven't added that on here so you will be able to see the number of products in your cart so basically that's all working so now it's your responsibility to design it and make it sort of working you can check out you can uh, add different payment provider all lot of different things so maybe we'll go through this one one by one so today is sort of the basic introduction the next thing would be to card into in, introduce the card third would be the checkout and uh, we'll also be able to uh you know um integrate different payment provider we'll do that as well is a sort of different videos so let me explore the code and then we'll jump to the next uh, um sort of video so today that would be the last topic so here you can see here the structure so this order cloud in the order cloud directory so far okay let me let me let me show you the details so in the buyer so there are two buyer and seller so i am actually digging the store front side which is basically the buyer app so that's why you can see here everything is here buyer and um, so in the buyer side and there is an, another folder called seller which is basically empty at this moment so there is nothing in the seller but in the buyer side so i have created a very skeleton sort of project so let me let me go to the um the very the very root app.tx file so you can see here basically it's nothing but to give you some uh, context uh, i mean the application gives application some context about your client id base uri scope and everything and this oc config uh, basically coming from order cloud so this order cloud component hook redux util everything is copied and pasted from the site core i start a guide that they provide in the github i'm gonna give you the details in the i'm gonna give you the details and also the link in the description so that you can get that from there as well so this is just, just copy paste from there then i'm not gonna use it so in the so very first thing is the index space in the index space basically i have created so this is a next application so next this application intentionally i used it so that i can uh, get some some um, flavor some out of the box magic of next js and i'm also using here react and you can see here the starter page is nothing but a layout file so this layout i have created it has nothing so it has some sort of head section we have i have created some link here and in the body it has navigation is nothing but empty it only says navigation right now so you'll be able to basically put anything here nice navigation but uh and here you can see nothing it's a footer and footer is also nothing and then let me go back uh in the layout and then if you explore the product page that i have here uh in the product page we have basically something to to display the main implementation right now we have in the uh, product space right so in the products index space basically so what i've used it here is this is my um content hub url and uh, what i have done here is i have used this get static props so basically uh, what will happen is in the build time my application will be able to connect to our uh, content hub endpoint and grab some data from there so i am using that one and grabbing the data and this data will be returned so those who are well known about uh, nexus will be able to know this one quite easily it's very easy so in the props so this is sort of build time this uh, get static prop will execute in the build time once you run this data will be coming as a props here and then what i am doing basically is i am doing some data manipulation and once you have the data then what i am doing is um so this order uh, oc product list order cloud product list so by default sitecore will connect and give me the data product list because i have configured the application key and all the details in the app.tx file as i showed you before so that will be used and sitecore will grab that information and use the there and that will actually basically pull all the emails Oh, sorry product list 
but the image image i am manipulating the image from here and i am passing that image in this product list so if you go here the product list i slightly modified this list so to incorporate the images here so i have used this image list property here and then what i am doing is basically i am passing that image um, in that product card uh, for that particular product and then i am rendering that image it's a very easy thing very easy stuff so i would highly recommend you guys to explore this other cloud component in the github but you really don't need to do a lot of things i'm gonna push this uh, project in the github repository as well i'll also share that on but the main idea is that so main idea is basically that so now what you have is if you click the details it will go to this slug so let me show you the slug as well so in the in the product slug so those who are familiar with next day so anything is this um, uh, square bracket basically uh, dynamic routing so products slash something would be you can actually use the product slash something we used here the slug means product ready and then I am getting this uh, product ID from the query through this uh, use router from next router. And then uh, this uh, this slug basically will give you the the dynamic part of your route. And I am using this is basically the product ID, right? And then I am using the product details with the product ID, and it is basically giving you the the product ID. Uh, in the product details and product details basically site core component who is basically use the product id and accordingly it renders all the properties and everything as a json so now ideally the product details would be your part to implement so you will create your own nice ui and um, you can get the data you can see how actually site core grab the data through the product id very easy if you go here and then you will be able to see this thing so they uh, site could use that Redux, so you can basically get, you can use something like this method, use OC product details with the product ID in your component, you can get that, use that data as necessary. Okay, so that's all. This is basically the very basic sort of introduction about, okay, I also need to show you guys that, uh, that um, content hub part, right? So slightly touched that on, but the index so <clears throat> i told you before this this get static props basically the magic of nexus and we use this in point url api key and everything where we are using a graphql query and uh, basically executing that query will give you the data here so i have used the utility utility helper sort of uh, function here get content hub get content from content hub and uh, basically it will give you the data based on your query so you can test the query anytime and uh, through their um, test in point uh, graphql practice or you can say the uh, graphql practice in point and accordingly you can just simply paste it here so if you have, if you have any question about this uh, content hub or uh, order cloud feel free to send me masses i'll be able to i'll i'll definitely respond to you guys if i could but yeah uh, do that and um, um i think that's all for today hope i'll see you very soon with the second part of this video where we are gonna implement the cart part see you there bye